approach is, is very simple. Uh, so you can use it to estimate divergence times, for example. So you simulate this two population model based on, on some prior uh, knowledge that you have of divergence time. You, you simulate sampling from this prior, simulate summary stats, that summary stats give you a cloud of points. And let's say you have observed summary stats sits right in the center of this cube, and the cube represents the 5,000 closest points to your observed. You go back and check which values of T that generated this closed summary stats, this will give you a posterior density or posterior probability of T. You can use the same approach to do model inference. So you simulate those three models, let's say, and in, in the same proportion, and this gives you a cloud of points. You go back and check the number of uh, simulations that come from each of those models that give you a posterior probability for your model. So, ABC is pretty simple, but it's difficult to implement because most of the time you need to have uh, a knowledge of at least a scripting language to sample from your prior and control your simulator and calculate the summary stats. So that's what we had to do in this example here where we wanted to test all these diversification models for these two populations represented in uh, white and gray here for this lizard in the northeast of Brazil. So we used R to generate those scripts and then the ABC package from R to, to test the models. So the idea of this package is to make like a flexible way to, and a user-friendly way to generate those simulations uh, within R. Uh, so the, the package is, is really uh, uh, simple and user-friendly. You uh, have coded an a interactive menu where you start typing you start by typing this main function, main menu. Uh, you type, uh, it asks you for a new week, the tree uh, topology that gives you a, a pure isolation model. You can add uh, complexity by typing, let's say, C and add migration to your model. You can tap, type D and add population size change. And, and then afterwards, you can set up your priors. This gives you also the number of parameters you have for each one of the categories. Uh, it's pretty flexible, you can have migration, exponential size changes. It's entirely within R, you don't have to rely on any other uh, uh, external program. And it's relatively fast, you can run most models in your uh, personal computer for a handful of things. Um, so uh, the main function works like that, you have a you sample parameter from priors, transforms parameters to coalescent scale, simulate NYC using MS, uh, pass MS also good to pop genome to calculate summary stats and write the summary stats to a file. You can also take a shorter uh, a shortcut here and write the, the policy trees. Uh, so you can use that to build all these different models. These are here some examples uh, to, to simulate summary statistics and trees. You can also, one cool thing that I have implemented in this package as well is the, the core expansion models for comparative phylogeography where you can uh, uh, estimate the proportion of synchronous expansion in your, in your data across multiple populations. Um, so the next step is to uh, up, kind of um, um, optimize it for next-gen data and, and add more flexibility like recombination. And you can, cannot add a recombination right now. So if you want to check uh, how the package works, there is already a beta version in, in GitHub download the 